the uh, work plane has been offset to the correct height. Make this 0.5, 1.5 center along Z to the rect rectangular stock material and drop it to 0.25 extrude in rotation to the cam program. Usually that type of a uh, parasolic model is what it looks like. Cat 4 with a, a circular demonstration. I recalibrated the machine recently lately and just want to see how it comes out. So if anything the circle will be a little off and have to reconfigure. Okay. Uh, there's a tool change pause going to require I have to do it manually because I didn't make a tool changer. I should have. Uh, get a, a mod bus unit and make a correctly aligned tool change unit and should also get a rotary CNC uh, that's later on down the line and that's one of the easiest to do tool changer is to maybe time consuming the alignment part but it shouldn't be no problem at all okay Okay, ready to progress on to the uh, actual machining process here. This is what the uh, simulation G code looks like. It's a circle we're seeing the machining over there. Right at the border, like, like zero. I actually uh, didn't get the correct point two five quarter inch. It's actually a little less. I didn't have the measurement, but I have the measurement with three eighths approximate. So that's why it's on the verge, right there, right near zero. Okay. The seam right here, normally my machine takes it uh, seamless, that means it's mechanically sound and it's uh, uh, software based or your motor's too weak and you're losing uh, step pops, okay? And your table's too tight. I want to get faster speed and it's a little loose on this one, but recently I recalibrated and it came out a uh, tad bit too tight. So I uh, redid it again, it came out pretty good on a second cut that uh, is not on the video. Uh, but the measurement, dimensions in the CAD, this is perfect. This area, 2.5, if I remember correctly. One inch. All of this came out perfect, okay? And the Z touchdown is very nice, extremely nice, okay? So that's how the part came out.